Did you know that being a couch potato could actually be part of your genetic makeup? Yeah, it seems like everything is decided by our genetic makeup these days. Researchers at Aberdeen University worked with colleagues in China and they did a study uh, with ASAP Science and they found out that that's pretty much the case. Let's take a look. Scientists studying mice have found an interesting genetic connection. After separating mice into two groups, those that chose to run on their wheel more often and those that decided not to run as much, the difference was clear in their offspring. After 10 generations, the running mice would run on their wheels 75% more often than the other group, and by 16 generations, they were running 7 miles a day as opposed to the average 4 miles. It seemed their motivation for physical activity was genetic. All right, is everything genetic? We like to think that it's not, and we control our fate and our destiny, but at the end of the day, is the primordial ooze controlling everything we're doing? Did you guys react to this video the same way I did, which was like, mice run seven miles a day? <laughs> it seemed like a lot. Jesus. That's a lot of running. But I mean, they can't, they got their tiny little legs. I don't know, it's unbelievable. I'm sorry, what was your question about the primordial <laughs> ooze? <laughs> that is a good question. Though. What would be the equivalent? How many miles for a human would be seven miles I don't per know, 10, hour? 10,000? It's got to be yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, you know, they're busy. I mean, that's what they're doing. All they don't time. have a lot else to do. Yeah, they're not working. We're yeah, sitting here babbling about God knows what. They're, they're out so there looking like for the cheese. So that's like the difference between being a morning person and a night person, right? So that, that maybe that, like that's, I'm a night person totally. I, I kick something around, around midnight, I get a little. Uh, energy in me and uh, creative. They say most uh, creativity happens at night. For I was just reading on a thing on uh, whogivesashit.com. And, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I definitely think that it's in your makeup. You see fat families, you yeah, know? Right. Yeah. It's, 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 it is genetic, I think. And um, So how much do you guys think we control? How much do you think is actually, uh, and less for than you, you in a less than you think, because I read all these books when, uh, about our attraction to to each other, the physical sexual attraction, and 99% of it is unconscious. You think you're making a choice, you think, well, I like this or that, you don't fucking know what you like, because it's all happening unconsciously, like they realize that men, that it's the hip to waist ratio that makes a woman attractive to a man or not, not if she's fat or skinny or whatever. It's all these weird things that go into it, so that's what I'm saying. More than you think, you're, you're, you're controlled genetically. Yeah. Later in that video, there's a great thing about um, uh, the the couch potato gene literally that you're that there is a gene that you're less you're more likely to stay so sedentary just, not just that you the generationally learn to work out but there is something in you that makes you want to stay and sit you have to overcome that I mean I I literally feel like I have it it's very hard for me to motivate in a way that I think is beyond the normal human characteristic of wanting to sit around like I I haven't worked out in four years and now I can fucking blame my parents. This is fantastic. <laughs> but, I, but like, you have to have it. And then they throw this sort of, they, at the, they, they throw this bone to you at the end, like, hey, but a lot of this is environmental, and so you have to overcome that. Yeah. You know? and, but I need a pill to overcome that. Right, you so know? you couldn't do it. That, so that's the part that I find fascinating. The, the part that you want to sit there, and I'm with you, I could watch basketball all day on a Sunday and not move, but at the same point, I could go to the gym and run around and be right, but just as happy. But you don't have that, and I don't, you don't think and you I can get, overcome it. And I get none of that thing that we saw in the first part. I don't get this rush from working out. I don't, I, like, I get a rush from competition, I like yeah. to try and win things or lose things, but I like to be involved in something where the score is kept, but I don't get like, when I run, I don't come back and I'm not like, oh yeah. man, what a rush, yeah. what a lift. I don't have that at all. So you're not a competitive marathoner, you're more of a competitive sleeper. That's right. right? That's right. You'll have one, you're like an Olympic sleeper. <laughs> right? You got a pillow top, That's you got to, right. just to jump into that, you got to have some dexterity. <laughs> what about Those you? Are, are, you are you able to overcome your, your genetic predispositions, whatever they may First of all, be? I got to say, I, I got to call, I got to challenge the veracity of Ben's statement that he hasn't worked out in four years. You're telling me that you haven't lifted and you got something <laughs> like this? That is unbelievable. <laughs> so. <you>. Uh, <laughs> Really? That's natural? Yeah, that's right. Hard to believe. I know. No drugs. <laughs> no drugs. That's you're, right. You're not juicing. Nope, nope, not okay. at all. He's juicing and not working out, which is an odd thing to do. Um, I've never, you know, I was always an active guy, worked out all the time, so um, I don't anymore, but that has nothing to do with my, I, I, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm telling you, you have more control. That's why, you know, they say the journey of life is to becoming just aware, becoming awake, because we walk through life asleep. That's right. Yeah. Like over the years, like we learned that eggs are shitty, eggs are good. They're right? good. Yeah. Right. It turns out they're good. Uh, it, you know, for years in the '70s, like don't don't eat, uh, you know, too much red meat. And then now maybe it's, maybe maybe it's okay. Certainly for certain people, and protein is definitely good. And 
So there's been uh, certain drugs are good, Coffee. certain drugs are bad. Coffee, it turns out it's good. Like, you know, great for you. Great, really good for you, you know. Yeah. So, but one thing that has never changed, my doctor said, and it's totally interesting when you put it in this perspective, he's like, exercise. They knew it then, they know it now, mm -hmm. it helps. It, it adds years to your life. You know, I have a daughter, I want to stay healthy, and I have this sense that even that is not going to do it, it for me. That's, and I think that there's a predisposition. I'm not a crazy person. But don't you, do you have a sport you enjoy? Do you play basketball? I love playing basketball. I love playing softball. I love playing things that keep score. It's just hard. You get old, it's hard to find yeah. six other guys to get together and keep he score. He loves playing basketball so much that TYT plays every Sunday. And I've played gone. for a year and a half on every Sunday. Never been there. Huh. I got injured like three years ago, and I haven't yeah, I really returned. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, injury. I got an injury and it took me out. So yeah, I hurt my back, so I don't play anymore. But uh, I'd like to. I miss it. I'm better than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, get up off your fat ass. Do some exercise. You can watch this while you're on the treadmill. That's where I do most of my internetting.